Imagine a world where every individual who is contributing to the growth and well-being of a community actually can own a piece of the value they create. So instead of someone only benefiting from their wages or salary, they're also getting ownership in this economy which lives in the cloud. We think it's possible and it could look something like this. Picture an orchard. An orchard that has many different trees and different fruits. The orchard represents a community that is intentionally collaborating together to create a new kind of virtual economy in a specific location. We're calling it the sweet economy. Now imagine that the trees in the orchard are businesses and the fruit on those branches are actual products or services that go to market and serve the globe. People with different skill sets are making sure that the soil has nutrients and the trees are healthy, tended to and producing the best quality and highest value fruit. So when one tree grows and produces fruit, the entire orchard or economy receives the value. What's different about this? Well, here's where this is transformative. The trees or businesses in the orchard can still be owned by shareholders, but the orchard isn't owned by any one person or company. It is owned by everyone, the workers, the customers, and the suppliers, because they all participate in the value their activity creates. Because everyone who is contributing their time, skill and resources on the different trees is causing the value of the orchard to rise, they are awarded what's called squares, a piece of this new virtual country that brings in a monthly yield of seed to all of its citizens. The seed turns to cash when you sow it by spending it in this new economy. This creates an attitude of ownership and a win-win scenario where skills are valued and collaboration is rewarded. This is the power of changing incentives. So if a tree and a person's skill set no longer align, they still participate in the value they helped create. They can even be repositioned to where they thrive in the orchard, without fear of losing what they've worked for. Why? Well, the title of their squares spans across multiple orchards in this virtual country not just a single tree, and squares also cannot be taken away. They're owned by you and your descendants forever and are constantly bringing in a monthly yield of seed. The trees and all of the orchards are connected through incentives that form a safety net which is continually growing and getting stronger. Each person and their skill set is one strand in that net. Alone, the strands are easily broken, but when the strands are combined, heavy things can be lifted and because pressure is shared, even economic disruption can be stopped. In the other economies, it's every person for themselves. In this new economy, in the cloud, we reposition the value so that the entire community wins. The sweet economy is being adopted in different cities and industries and connects the unique strength of each orchard. This reduces economic risk, increasing the value of yield for each square. This model generates the intra-orchard economy and increases the circulation between people and businesses who are part of it. So instead of an uncapped stream of hard-earned dollars only going to financial centers, this value is retained for the square owners, the citizens of this virtual country. The financial centers still get what they're owed, but liquidity is readily available to keep growing the orchard. In the orchard, labor and hard cash are both valued collaboration is rewarded, and there's always a win-win in every transaction. In most of the current financial and trade systems, value is underrepresented and it's only the people in the financial markets that benefit from it. Could there be a change where true value is distributed to those who create it? Can we see broken and controlled cities become revived and empowered communities? Imagine a new economy built on trust and unity instead of greed and fear. It can be done by choosing a better way. It's simpler than you might think. Sweetbridge. <laughs>